6. The height in meter of a bird to catch a fish in a pond can be represented by the function ht is equal to 2t minus 3 square where t is the time in second when the bird starts to fly to catch the fish. Sketch the graph. So to sketch the graph, you must have three things. First, minimum or maximum point. And second, you have to know x intercept. Only if it has intercept, you can check by doing b square minus 4ac. Okay. And then the third one, y intercept. Y intercept x is equal to 0. X intercept y is equal to 0. And minimum and maximum point, so we can get from here. Okay. HT is equal to 2T minus 3 square. The minimum and maximum point we can get from here A, X minus P square plus Q, where the minimum point is P, Q. You see here, X minus P is equal to 0, X is equal to P. And here, the minimum point T minus 3, so here is 3. And then since we don't have any value here, so we know it is 0. The minimum point is 3, 0. Why I say it is minimum and not maximum point? Because this one is a positive value. This one is a minimum point, 3, 0. Okay. As intercept, B square minus 4 AC. So we can check this one to know if it has X intercept, B square minus 4 AC. Okay, HD is equal to 2 T minus 3 square. 2 T square, we get T square. 2 times negative 3 times T, we get negative 60. And 3 square, we get 9. 2 T square minus 12 T. 2 times T square, 2 times negative 60. 2 times 9, we get 18. Okay, this one is our HT. To know X intercept, B square minus 4 AC. B square minus 4 AC is equal to Okay, you see here, B is negative 12 minus 4, A is 2, and C is 18. Negative 12 square, we get 144, and this one is neg negative 8 times 18, we get negative 144. We get 0. When B square minus 4, AC is equal to 0, so we know that it touches x axis at one point and you see here the minimum point is 3 0 so this one is the x intercept and we know that at one point so only this point three y intercept x is equal to zero when x is equal to zero so h zero is equal to you can just substitute here or use the equation before this, but this one is easier. Okay, 2, negative 3 square, 2 times 9, which is 18. So we know that the x-intercept, when x is equal to 0, we get 18. So this one is basically 0, 18. Now we can sketch the graph. The x-intercept is 3, 0. And the y-intercept is 0, 18. 0, 18, 18 is somewhere up here. If this one is 18 and this one is positive, 3, 0 is somewhere here. Okay, 3, 0 or just 3 here. So here and it should be symmetrical. Okay, HT. And this one is T. B. The movement of another bird is represented by the function. This one. Sketch the graph of RT. See here, RT is equal to 2 HT. Just now, our HT is this one. So, which is equal to 2, 2 T minus 3 square. Okay, so we have 4 t minus 3 square. Again, to sketch, we must have 3 points. So the minimum point here, we know the minimum, maximum point is the same uh, with our h before. 
so the minimum point is 3 0 is the minimum point since we see here this one is positive okay second uh, the x intercept x intercept rt is equal to 4 t minus 3 square this is equal to 4 when we expand this one we get t square 2 times negative 3 times t we get negative 60 3 square we get 9 so here 4 t square minus 24 t 4 times 9 we get 36 b square minus 4 ac is equal to b is negative 24 square minus 4 a is 4 and c is 36 negative 4 square is 576 so 4 times 4 times 36 is 576 as well minus 576 we get 0 so we know that it intersects at one point which is this point this is this is an x intercept because we know x intercept y is equal to 0 and this one y is equal to 0. Now we can find y intercept. x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0. Or here we see here uh, at x as is we have t right. So when t is equal to 0 r0 is equal to here for 0 minus 3 square which is 4 times 3 square or 4 times 9 which is equal to 36. So basically we get the same uh, the same shape of graph with what we have in this one HD which is the X intercept is higher. So X intercept, the Y intercept is higher sorry this one is 36. So this one X point zero thirty six. 36. So we sketch something like this. This one is 36 and this one is 3. So we get something like this. So this one should be symmetrical to this one. Where this one is a graph of RT and this one is T. C. Compare the graph of HT and RT as plane which birds start to move at the highest position as plane. Okay, from HT. Okay, we know that the same shape, this one is 18 and this one is 3, so something like this. Okay, and this one, same 3 here, but this one is 36. So, you see here, this one is R, this one is HD and this one is RT T. We can see that this one HT is wider than RT. Why? Because you see here HT is equal to 2 T minus 3 square but RT is equal to 4 T minus 3 square. Since A this one is the value of A A in HT is equal to 2 and A in RT is equal to 4. Since A is larger in RT, the graph is more narrow in RT. Thus, but at RT moves at highest position which is 36 meter above the water level compared to birds at HD which is 18 meter high. 